let us start with a problem of welded joint a steel bracket is welded to a plate as shown and loaded as shown below calculate the size of weld if permissible shear stress in the weld is 60 megapascal this is the given statement we have in plane eccentric load so we first of all we have to find out the stresses uh, sorry the load when we shift it to the cg so from here we can find out the load of uh, the effect of this load 4 kN at cg is 4 kN as, as it is and then 600 into 600 kN because 150 is the eccentricity and this cg of this geometry is at the midpoint of this section so because it is symmetrically located so with this uh, we can find out the primary stress where this L length is the total length uh, 70 plus 70 and then it is T so in terms of this 0 0.707 H is T we can also consider in some of the cases if required it is up to the designer we can also consider this 140 by removing or eliminating or subtracting end effect which we have already considered is about 10 mm at each end is the end effect 12.5 mm we generally go for the run over uh, allowance for welding so this also we can take care but uh, academically if we do not take care then also it is correct but if you take care you have to specifically specify right that this is what you have considered so that uh, your answer if does not match have some justification so secondary stress is this we can find out a, a r maximum using simple geometry that this is r maximum this value is 45 90 by 2 this value is uh, 70 by 2 so we can find out the r maximum j we can calculate uh, like this as we have explained in our uh, last uh, video so i am not repeating it uh, the complete method so this is how j is obtained we can find out tau maximum theta we can calculate like this this tau maximum substitute values we get this value apply design equation we get this uh, value h is equal to 3 mm as our answer so next problem a steel bracket is welded to a plate as uh, 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 below calculate size of weld if permissible shear stress in weld is 78 megapascal there is no change only one change that the, these are the dimensions and second change we have here uh, c section rather than having um, parallel section there in the last uh, case so that parallel section was basically a weld group of rectangular here we have this weld group of c section now again the method will remain same we have to first find out x bar and y bar y bar no doubt it is symmetrical about this xx so that is why y bar from reference axis is half of this because it is symmetrically placed otherwise this value is x bar so x bar here in this case is 30 mm now we can find out value of j with the same concept that we have to transfer ixx iyy ixx of this this and this plus iyy of this this and this so neglecting the higher order term we get this equation that we can get value of j as this now primary and secondary stresses so we can calculate like this we can make use of the design equation and then we can find out how much is h here so h is 70 uh, sorry h is 15.9 mm in this case so we can 
take safely value of 16 mm so our recommendation is for 16 mm next problem a 10 mm weld size of shear strength 50 mega pascal is used to connect a steel bracket as shown in the figure recommend the load that can safely be applied to the bracket so we have simply changed two things we have given it is similar to the problem number one the only difference is that here f is unknown and there f was known and we were uh, we was to we were to calculate the weld size here weld size is given it means it means h is given weld size is well uh, size is h so x bar y bar they are obvious 60 mm and 120 mm because it is symmetrical about x axis y axis then we can find out value of j value of r it is 161 mm and 10 theta is 53.3 degree primary force and secondary force so this is how we can find out primary and secondary forces by calculating value of j for the uh, this rectangular type of uh, weld group substitute in design equation we can get value of uh, f as 8.2 kilonewton so this is how we can find out value of f again <coughs> as the dimension of weld is given here we can certainly uh, use this uh, run over uh, factor here we can subtract the value uh, 20 mm from this weld and 20 mm from this weld in that case uh, the value of f will reduce somewhat so uh, that can be considered uh, but you have to specify clearly specify or otherwise we can assume that whatever this is given is the effective weld length so both ways it is uh, if it is not clearly mentioned what exactly is this we can um, assume this as uh, effective weld length or if you assume that this is size of the members which is given then in that case we can make use of overrun factor to reduce the effective length so next uh, problem uh, is of a circular road 50 mm diameter is welded as shown the road is acted upon by twisting moment of 5 kilonewton meter to so design uh, the welded joint if design strength is this so here it is uh, slightly uh, different because we have to find out value of j for thin lamina thin uh, ring or thin circular ring so a, a brief analysis is given though it is not required for, for you to have this analysis in the problem you can directly make use, use of the expressions for i and j for this type of uh, weld geometry so we have taken uh, a small element and then we this is our basic uh, equation for calculating i because it is second moment of area this is small element delta a da this is da and first moment of area is da into y about this xx and then second moment is da into y square so this y square represent we are multiplying da by uh, y that is distance from the axis twice so that is why it is second moment of area and we, we are taking it 0 to pi so that is why we have multiplied it by 2 so using this we can find out the value of i x x it is 1 by 8 pi d cube t we can use this e equation directly to find out value of j i i x x is this so j is i x x plus i y y i x x and i y y will be same so that is why j is uh, this so you can get well uh, so j, j is here is this this is twice of this so values we substitute values find out value of t and h it's a very simple problem this uh, you can directly use this expression or this expression as per your requirement and we can find out the unknown parameter
नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज फॉर आउट ऑफ प्लेन सेंट्रिक लोड सो इफ वी हैव टू वेल्व दिस बार विद दिस फ्रेम विद द डायमेंशन एज शॉन वी कैन फाइंड आउट द्रेसिस बिकॉज फॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ इन दिस केस दिस एफ विल इंड्यूस इन प्लेन शेयर स्ट्रेस एफ इन टू ई विल इंड्यूस बैंडिंग स्ट्रेसिस सो दिस इज द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस हेयर एंड फॉर दिस स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस वी कैन फाइंड आउट टाउ एंड सिगमा लाइक दिस सो वी हैव टू मेक यूज ऑफ सम थियोरीज ऑफ फेलियर सम थियोरी ऑफ फेलियर सो वी जनरली गो फॉर द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज थियोरी ऑफ फेलियर फॉर वर्ल्डिंग दैट इज मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस थियोरी सो लेट एस फाइंड आउट वैल्यू ऑफ आई हेयर इट इज गिवन बाई दिस अगेन इट इज मैंशन द वेल्ड लेंथ इज रिड्यूस टू टेक केयर ऑफ स्टार्टिंग एंड स्टॉपिंग एट वेल्ड एंड दैट इज रन ओवर अलाउंस सो दिस इज वॉट वी आर कंसिडरिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस सो दैट इज वाई वी हैव यूज थर्टी फाइव एम एम फिफ्टीन एम एम वी हैव यूज एज दिस अलाउंस so these you can use in any of uh, in all cases but you have whenever you use you should write it clearly and whenever you do not use you should also write it clearly that you are assuming that whatever is given is effective well length so from here we can find out uh, the value of j uh, iz z and then uh, this uh, other parameters sigma and tau these are in mega pascal so this is also in mega pascal and this is also in mega pascal so these two values are in mega pascal we can make use of maximum shear stress theory as design equation and this 90 mega pascal is given here as design shear stress so that is why we are using this and t is this h is 7.8 so we can take h as 8 mm so that that is all from uh, this video we have uh, explained five questions taken up five questions if you have any doubt you can share with comments and uh, if you have like this video please share thank you